Hey everybody, Chris Remis from Coldwell Banker here in Boston. Thank you for joining me again for my latest video blog. Today with my video blog, we're gonna be talking about, once again, getting your home ready for sale. You know, we, we went through a list a couple of weeks ago about all the different things that you should do to get your home for sale. One of the questions that always comes up is people ask me, Chris, do I need to paint? You know, and for me, the answer is usually yes. It's very inexpensive and it's usually very worth it to put up a fresh coat of paint. It makes the house feel refreshed. It makes the house feel clean. It makes the house feel new. So, uh, so painting is something that you definitely usually want to consider to, before you put your home on the market. I know sometimes it can be a hassle. Sometimes we put houses on the market uh, very quickly. We don't have the time or you have kids or dogs and it's, it's not possible. But when it's possible, it's always good bang for the buck to, put your, uh, to, to paint your house. So then the next question is gonna be, and everybody wants to know, Chris, what color do I paint my house? And really, we have to kind of go through the house and examine the house, examine uh, some of the elements of the house. For example, if you have a lot of natural wood in the house, we're gonna use one color. And if you have a lot of maybe uh, granite or, or, or gray highlights in the house, we're probably gonna use uh, another color. So everybody asks, what's hot? They say, Chris, what's the hot color? So really, the hot color these days happens to be a very bright white. Chantilly lace would be the color that you would use if you want something that's very chic and very modern, you would go with a bright white. But you know, particularly in Boston, that's not gonna work for everybody, the Chantilly lace or even using a white dove everywhere. So we'll come over, we'll walk through, and we'll take a look at what you have. In the past, I have used to use uh, pale oak a lot, which is actually a beige. Uh, but it always goes well with the wood. It brings, it really meshes well with the wood. Brings out, uh, just gives it a very warm feeling. The uh, the pale oak is a nice, nice neutral color, so that uh, buyers, you know, walk in and once again, kind of just have that warm feeling. Grays are also very popular these days. But the problem with grays is, is the problem with all paint colors is they're not, they're not all the same. So Stonington gray is very popular, but the problem with Stonington gray is it has a little blue in it. So we just want to make sure that, you know, the blue is going to go with, you know, the rest of the house and that it just doesn't look too dark. So the sunlight that's in your house will, will, will play a big uh, effect in this as well. My favorite, uh, paint for a light gray paint is Balboa Mist. It's very light, it's very neutral, it's very subtle, it's very understated. And then if you really want probably a little bit of a darker uh, gray, uh, Revere Pewter is probably going to be the paint for you. Um, a lot of times uh, I tell people it's best just to use one paint everywhere. I know that when you want to paint your house, you want to do every room a different color, but we're not really painting the house to decorate. We're painting the house to stage it. And when a buyer goes through, they're not really paying attention to the, to the individual colors in the room. As long as it's a neutral color throughout, that's really what's important. Sometimes if you have a room that might be a little bit darker than the others, we might just paint it simply white. Uh, Benjamin Moore Simply White, which will kind of really brighten it up a little bit as well. Not as bright as a Chantilly Lace, uh, but that's, uh, that's uh, usually a good color to solve that problem. I usually recommend only Benjamin Moore paints. They just seem to do the best. If you're in the Boston area here, I usually use uh, HC colors, which are the historical colors, which seem to do well in these older buildings with, uh, with the character, with the, uh, with the bricks and the charm. So uh, historical colors are the HC. You can, run, you can go into any uh, kind of hardware store around Boston that sells paint, and the people who uh, work in the hardware stores are usually very good as well. So um, I hope you found my video blog useful this time. If you have any questions or any comments, you want to leave some uh, comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Feel free to like the video. And if you want to contact me, my contact information is also below. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye now.